This is a calibration procedure we're doing today is for the pH 55 and 56. It uses an automatic calibration procedure. As you see, we start off with the unit, which is a pH 55, sitting in the storage solution for the prescribed two hours, as indicated in your operator's manual. We're going to move it with it still off over to the 7 calibration solution and turn the unit on. At this point, you'll see it come up many times right out of the box it comes up at where it's uh, fully calibrated, so that's not necessarily unusual. You also see that the display is reflecting a uh, Celsius display on the temperature. We'll get into how do you change that from being Celsius over to Fahrenheit in just a moment. In your, when you get ready to enter into your calibration mode, you go to the Cal on off button, you press and hold, you see off, and then Cal and release it. Now you're seeing the REC for record. In just a moment it'll move to four, it says OK on that one asking for four. You move it quickly over to the four, also saying REC on this one. In just a moment you'll see OK2. It takes just a moment longer for the four. There's your OK2. Now you are out of the automatic calibration procedure. As we indicated before, you're still on Celsius regarding your temperature. At this point, if you really want to enter into the, into the Fahrenheit scale on your on your temperature side of this probe, what you do is just like you did on the calibration procedure. You go right on over here to the on off cal button, press and hold. You're going to continue to hold it through the cal display and then you'll see temp and release it. At this point it's showing temp and Celsius on the display. To change it from Celsius over to Fahrenheit, you press the set button. It is now moved to Fahrenheit you click the button one more time, it enters into the buffer mode, and then over back over into the regular operational mode, indicating the Fahrenheit temperature display and four. At this point, you're ready to go ahead and take your measurements, or you can turn the unit off and return it to storage solution.